An azimuth listen, from Arabic as sumit, the directions, the plural form of the Arabic noun as samt, meaning the direction is an angular measurement in a spherical coordinate system. The vector from an observer origin to a point of interest is projected perpendicularly onto a reference plane. The angle between the projected vector and a reference vector on the reference plane is called the azimuth. When used as a celestial coordinate, the azimuth is the horizontal direction of a star or other astronomical object in the sky. The star is the point of interest, the reference plane is the local area e.g. a circular area 5 km in radius at sea level around an observer on Earth's surface, and the reference vector points to true north. The azimuth is the angle between the north vector and the star's vector on the horizontal plane. Azimuth is usually measured in degrees degree. The concept is used in navigation, astronomy, engineering, mapping, mining, and ballistics. Navigation In land navigation, azimuth is usually denoted alpha, alpha, and defined as a horizontal angle measured clockwise from a north baseline or meridian. Azimuth has also been more generally defined as a horizontal angle measured clockwise from any fixed reference plane or easily established base direction line. Today, the reference plane for an azimuth is typically true north, measured as a zero degrees azimuth, though other angular units grad, mil, can be used. Moving clockwise on a 360 degree circle, east has azimuth 90 degrees, south 180 degrees, and west 270 degrees. There are exceptions, some navigation systems use south as the reference vector. Any direction can be the reference vector, as long as it is clearly defined. Quite commonly, azimuths or compass bearings are stated in a system in which either north or south can be the zero, and the angle may be measured clockwise or anti-clockwise from the zero. For example, a bearing might be described as, from south, turn 30 degrees toward the east. The words in brackets are usually omitted, abbreviated, S30 degrees east, which is the bearing 30 degrees in the eastward direction from south, i.e. the bearing 150 degrees clockwise from north. The reference direction, stated first, is always north or south, and the turning direction, stated last, is east or west. The directions are chosen so that the angle, stated between them, is positive, between 0 and 90 degrees. If the bearing happens to be exactly in the direction of one of the cardinal points, a different notation, e.g., due east, is used instead. <laughs> True north-based azimuths <laughs> Cartographical azimuth The cartographical azimuth in decimal degrees can be calculated when the coordinates of two points are known in a flat plane cartographical coordinates alpha equals 180 pi atten 2 x 2 minus x 1 y 2 minus y 1 display style alpha equals frac 180 pi operator name at and 2 x underscore 2 x underscore 1 y underscore 2 y underscore 1 remark that the reference axes are swapped relative to the counterclockwise mathematical polar coordinate system and that the azimuth is clockwise relative to the north this is the reason why the x and y axis in the above formula are swapped if the azimuth becomes negative, one can always add 360 degrees. The formula in radians would be slightly easier. Alpha equals atten 2 x 2 minus x 1 y 2 minus y 1 Display style alpha equals operator name at and two x underscore two x underscore one y underscore two y underscore one. Caveat: Most computer libraries C, C plus plus, Python, Java reverse the order of the at and two parameters.
Topic calculating coordinates when the coordinates x1, y1 of one point, the distance l, and the azimuth alpha to another point x2, y2 are known, one can calculate its coordinates x2 equals x1 plus l sin alpha y2 equals y1 plus l cos alpha. Display style begin aligned x underscore two and equals x underscore one plus l sin alpha y underscore two and equals y underscore one plus l cos alpha end aligned. This is typically used used in triangulation topic calculating azimuth we are standing at latitude phi 1 display style underscore 1 longitude 0 we want to find the azimuth from our viewpoint to point 2 at latitude phi 2 Display style varphi underscore two longitude l positive eastward. We can get a fair approximation by assuming the Earth is a sphere, in which case the azimuth alpha is given by tan alpha equals sin l cos phi one tan phi two minus Sin Phi one cos L Display style tan alpha equals frac sin L cos Vafi underscore one tan Vafi underscore two sin Vafi underscore one cos L a better approximation assumes the Earth is a slightly squashed sphere, an oblate spheroid, azimuth then has at least two very slightly different meanings. Normal section azimuth is the angle measured at our viewpoint by a theodolite whose axis is perpendicular to the surface of the spheroid. Geodetic azimuth is the angle between north and the geodesic, that is, the shortest path on the surface of the spheroid from our viewpoint to point 2. The difference is usually immeasurably small. If point 2 is not more than 100 km away, the difference will not exceed 0.03 arc second. Various websites will calculate geodetic azimuth, e.g., Geoscience Australia site. Formulas for calculating geodetic azimuth are linked in the distance article. Normal section azimuth is simpler to calculate. Bomford says Cunningham's formula is exact for any distance. If f is the flattening, and e the eccentricity, for the chosen spheroid, e.g., 1 298. 257,223,563 for WGS84 then e 2 equals f 2 minus f 1 minus e 2 equals 1 minus f 2 lambda equals 1 minus e 2 tan phi 2 tan phi 1 plus e 2 1 plus 1 minus E two tan phi two two one plus one minus E two tan phi one two Tan alpha equals sin l lambda minus cos l sin phi one display style begin aligned e carrot two and equals f two f one e carrot two and equals one f carrot two lambda and equals left one e carrot two right frac tan vafi underscore two tan vafi underscore one plus e carrot two sqrt frac one plus left one e carrot two right left tan vafi underscore two right carrot two one plus left one e carrot two 
right left tan vafi underscore one right carrot two tan alpha and equals frac sin l lambda cos l sin vafi underscore one end aligned if phi one equals zero then tan alpha equals sin l one minus e two tan phi two display style tan alpha equals frac sin l left one e carrot two right tan vafi underscore two to calculate the azimuth of the sun or a star given its declination and hour angle at our location, we modify the formula for a spherical Earth. Replace phi2 with declination and longitude difference with hour angle, and change the sign since the hour angle is positive westward instead of east. <laughs> <laughs> Mapping There is a wide variety of azimuthal map projections. They all have the property that directions the azimuths from a central point are preserved. Some navigation systems use south as the reference plane. However, any direction can serve as the plane of reference, as long as it is clearly defined for everyone using that system. <laughs> Astronomy Used in celestial navigation, an azimuth is the direction of a celestial body from the observer. In astronomy, an azimuth is sometimes referred to as a bearing. In modern astronomy azimuth is nearly always measured from the north. The article on coordinate systems, for example, uses a convention measuring from the south. In former times, it was common to refer to azimuth from the south, as it was then zero at the same time that the hour angle of a star was zero. This assumes, however, that the star upper culminates in the south, which is only true if the star's declination is less than i.e. further south than the observer's latitude. Topic: Other systems. Topic: Right ascension. If, instead of measuring from and along the horizon, the angles are measured from and along the celestial equator, the angles are called right ascension if reference to the vernal equinox, or hour angle if reference to the celestial meridian. <laughs> <laughs> Horizontal coordinate In the horizontal coordinate system, used in celestial navigation and satellite dish installation, azimuth is one of the two coordinates. The other is altitude, sometimes called elevation above the horizon. See also, Saturday Finder. <laughs> Polar coordinate In mathematics, the azimuth angle of a point in cylindrical coordinates or spherical coordinates is the anticlockwise angle between the positive x-axis and the projection of the vector onto the xy plane. The angle is the same as an angle in polar coordinates of the component of the vector in the xy plane and is normally measured in radians rather than degrees. As well as measuring the angle differently, in mathematical applications theta, theta, is very often used to represent the azimuth rather than the representation of symbol phi phi. Other uses of the word For magnetic tape drives, azimuth refers to the angle between the tape heads and tape. In sound localization experiments and literature, the azimuth refers to the angle the sound source makes compared to the imaginary straight line that is drawn from within the head through the area between the eyes. An azimuth thruster in shipbuilding is a propeller that can be rotated horizontally. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> of the word The word azimuth is in all European languages today. It originates from medieval Arabic al-sumit, pronounced as sumit in Arabic, meaning the directions, plural of Arabic al-samt, equals the direction. The Arabic word entered late medieval Latin in an astronomy context and in particular in the use of the Arabic version of the astrolabe astronomy instrument. The word's first record in English is in the 1390s in Treatise on the Astrolabe by Geoffrey Chaucer. 
The first known record in any Western language is in Spanish in the 1270s in an astronomy book that was largely derived from Arabic sources, the Libros del Saber de Astronomía commissioned by King Alfonso X of Castile. See also equals 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 notes